Officer, how disappointed are you with the FA Trophy exit today? The end of a, a, an appallingly bad week for the, um, the dressing room at the club. Um, we got, you know, the game was over in the first minute, and just seeing it back ten times, there's no way the referee can be sure. It, it looks like he's actually inside the box. The linesman's not given it, and he sent off our goalkeeper and we're one 0 down in 90 seconds, ten men. And we've then killed ourselves by diabolical second defensive goal. We're two 0 down, and the third goal, both centre halves get turned inside out, and we're three 0 down with ten men, and it's it's in all intents and purposes run over and. You know, you, you can set up whichever way you like, but you're down to 10 men in one minute. It's another very, very dubious decision at best. And, you know, three individual errors and you're 3-0 down. I thought we, we gave it a bit of a go just before half-time. We had a great chance with Perry's one-on-one. -on -one. He's really got to shoot. And we gave it a bit of a go to start the second. They've obviously then got a fourth and ended the game. We've, we've given it a bit of a fight back. But we the game was lost in the first minute and certainly in the first 10 minutes when we've conceded three shockingly bad goals. And you combine that with uh, probably the worst injury unavailability list I've known in 16 years of management, uh, and you put the two together and you get nothing in a vital game that we needed to, to bring an in income. You know, really poor attendance today. And I know the owner's got things to say about it. I know my budget, I know what we've got, I can't bring in others, we've got to let people go. And the players have got to take responsibility, I've got to take responsibility, the players know we've got to be better than that. We're not playing very well. It's it's not something that's just happened today. It was a cliche bad day at the office today, but I don't think we've been very good for the last two, three weeks. But I also think you've got to get perspective on this. We're top of the league, and we need the fans to get back and support us. And otherwise, my budget will get cut, and players will be told to leave. It was quite simple, you know. When you combine that with Dennis Olly's injury and Eddie Smith's and Keith Emerson really shouldn't have played, and John Oonga shouldn't have probably played, and Jack Barton's home ill and Callum Overton's away with family that are ill and Jordan's having a baby and um, it's just relentless really um, it's as tough as it gets but we should have done better and incredibly disappointing with everything considered um, and we're going to have to we've got, we've got to go again um, we are top of the league and we've got a cliche focus we've got to go out and try and win the league it's going to be very difficult because as I said I'm fully aware that I'm going to get a budget call now um, and players have got to take responsibility. Sen senior players, and there's a lot of them, aren't, aren't doing enough. But I don't think you want to focus just on today. That's a very bad decision at the start there. The linesman's one who's got to make the call. He doesn't flag it at all. It's millimetres if at all. And um, you've got to play 95 minutes in total with 10 men. 1-0 down straight from the free kick, and then we give the game away. So, incredibly disappointing. A very, very bad day for the club. And this is going to be the low this season. We've got to try and pick ourselves up. And... I thought there were a couple of bright sparks. I thought Ethan Allen came on and did very well from the academy. Uh, if you saw that our bench, it was literally, if you're fit, you're available. And I thought Sam Bam and Perry did okay. Um, you know, but senior players have got to step up. I thought my two centre-halves today have been excellent for lots of the season. You know, we're, we're asleep at times. You know, they're just letting lads coast in behind them. And that's very disappointing. But we're bigger than this. Um, and we've got to, we've got our broad, sh broad shoulders and we'll decide what to do midweek and um, see who's fit, see who we can get back available and um, see, see, see where we go from there and, and, and look to get back into the league and get back winning as soon as possible. But it's, it's a massive blow, there's no doubt about it, no doubt about it at all. Today, was it a case of lack of quality in the final third? Well, no, we, you know, the, the, the forwards can look back today and say, with all due respect, you've gifted three goals away. Whether you know, Aaron's taken responsibility for the first, because there should be no doubt. Um, Keith Emerson's made a mistake for the second, and the two Sun Arsenal made a mistake for the third. So, the final third quality wasn't as good as it should have been, but it doesn't make a difference if you're going to concede three shocking goals. You know, those are individual errors, and you won't win any games if you do that. And we've started to do that. It, it's changed in recent weeks. I think a few players have got a bit complacent. We are carrying a huge amount of injuries. You've got Curtis as well today, who's coming off. Um, but that's what you've got to deal with. You, you know, these, you know, this season is a season where we're just trying to have a good season. You know, people have rightly said we're favourites. Um, we don't have the budget to be favourites. We certainly don't have the budget with the attendance and boost the budget. We just don't have it. So if people have to go, then that's good news for the academy. We want a good season where there isn't drama off the pitch. And that will take us where it's got to take us. I'm desperate to try and stay towards the top of the table. 
um, and the players have got to match that desire and if the players that are here can't do that then there will have to be a couple of changes because I don't think it's just today that's been poor um, we've had some diabolical decisions against us no question about that um, but I think the last two three weeks since Swindon we, we haven't been at the uh, where we should be but we do have a, a ton of injuries and unavailabilities which, which certainly doesn't help let's put it that way we don't have a big squad we've lumbered everything into the local players that we want to a good 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 local known players um, but we need the fans to get behind us and you know we, but you're not going to get many fans behind you if you put in that performance but you know, the attendance today was deeply disappointing but it's certainly not their fault it's our fault you know we've, we've made three terrible decisions and you know the shape has to change immediately Paul Lewis has to come straight off the pitch sacrificed you know we wanted it to play a different shape today we didn't get the chance because one minute in we're, we're down to ten men and, and a goal down got a week now to prepare for Aylesbury in the league. How are your side going to bounce back? We're probably going to try and arrange a behind closed doors friendly on Tuesday. Uh, whether that's here or there, I don't know yet. That's we, we need. We I don't want to go to Aylesbury without playing at least some kind of training game. I want to look at other players. Um, there's one or two that have been close to coming in, but they have to come for nothing. This is this is the issue. If we don't have, you know, we've just made a right mess of the FA Trophy. And um, okay, referee assisted, yes, but. We've made a right mess of it. So again, we're looking in the begging bowl. Obviously, we need to see who's fit. We need to see who's well. Hopefully, Jack Barton will, you know, will get out of his sick bed. But certainly, the longer-term ones, and we have to see how some of them react. And, you know, we've got a, this very long list. We're hoping Callum Overton will be back. We're hoping Jordan will be back available for selection. And we just don't know at the moment. So we need to get everybody together and almost try and forget this. And Curtis will be suspended next week as well, so it's something else we've got to work on. Although he's picked up an injury, and um, you know it's, it's a tough ask, but we will just get on with that work and try and get everybody in. We've, we've just said we'll let them all know tomorrow. We'll be in Tuesday and wherever that will be, and we will try and build them up. And let, let's not get away from it. We're top of the league. You know, it's very hard for me to say that with much pride at the moment after getting beaten five-one at home. Everything that could have gone wrong today did, but fundamentally, it's three individual errors that put us three-nil down and down to ten men. So. We've got to get back on that and use the old cliche that you know our season's now about the league and we, we've, we've got to go on from there and you know it's we, sh we shall see what happens. I'll speak to the directors about where we are budget-wise and who we might have to let go, but that will be what it's going to be and that opens opportunities for others and we're very proud that players are contacted saying they would come and play for Farnborough for free. You know we we are a, we're a team. If we get 172 people, I think we've lost 600 pounds today because we've got to pay for their coach. That's you know minus 600 pounds, not a game. Um, so, you know, if that's what we are, a step four side, then that's what we are, a step four side. But you know, we're, we're top of the league, and we've got to go back to that league on Saturday and and build this week and try and put this behind us and see who's fit and, and go again. And uh, you know, remember, we don't go out with doom and gloom. We're, we're we're trying to be positive this season, but it's very difficult. 20 minutes after a you know, defeat like that and then you look at the tape and go, come on, that's, that's ridiculous. The referee can't make that call. It's impossible. He hasn't got the angle to make it. Um, and he's got to be very sure. And I've watched it 10 times and there's just no way. I mean, it's millimetres, if anything. And the linesman has not given it. So he's killed a stone dead then, but then two individual errors have made it 3-0. And you know, game over. Can you give an injury update on Dennis Ollie and Eddie Smith? Uh, Eddie Smith is a double ligament. So that's anything between two months and the season. Uh, we won't know for at least a couple of weeks. He's on crutches and in a boot. Um, Dennis Olley is a minor fractured rib. And Dennis is desperate to get back, but who knows. Um, his first reaction after he did it was he'd strap himself up and play the next day. I mean, it's ridiculous. Um, I, again, we don't know. It could be a week, it could be six weeks. Um, as I said, Callum Overton's away with a family member and we wish him the best and we're, we're hoping he will be back this week. Uh, Jordan's just had a baby that's had complications so he's not been available the last couple of weeks. Jack Barton's ill with flu. Um, John's really struggling. Um, Curtis is struggling. Keith has a, a minor ruptured ligament. Uh, he's played through it and that's why we have the best British Army, the best army in the world because it's ridiculous that he managed to play through that. And maybe that was the wrong decision because look what happened on the second goal. But I can't fault his hunger and desire to play for this club, um, and we desperately needed people out there today. But you know, it's it's a long list of people that aren't available. Um, but we've just got to get on with it. And um, you know, I think Parry didn't have the greatest game today, but he got himself into some great positions. He worked really hard. 
he's he's doing he, you know he started really really well and um, but the forwards are going to look back at the defence and say we you know we conceded whatever it was three last week at home five this week you know you've got to look at that first and foremost and the defence aren't doing their job properly and they're not getting the best protection from midfield that's without a shadow of a doubt but you can't prepare for what happened in the first minute here and um, that you know game plan goes straight out the window and we've tried and tried to get ourselves back into the game but three individual errors in the game is lost before you even get to 30 minutes. Thank you, Spencer. Cheers.